All right, welcome back on our Tuesday evening. What a beautiful day we had. The sun was out, blue sky, a little chilly out there for sure, but a great morning and afternoon for a walk. Clouds moved in. Let's take a look at our forecast. First alert headlines, three first alert weather days. Been talking about them. Tomorrow is day number one, and again, that is for that opportunity for snowfall. And again, I think just about all areas do get snow. Depending on where you're located, those numbers vary quite a bit. Uh, Thursday, next first alert weather day. Again, it's for that Arctic outbreak. Been telling you about uh, that air really starts to funnel in that Arctic air on Thursday and Sunday looks like our coldest day and it's not that Friday and Saturday are going to be fantastic days. It's going to be downright cold, but again, Sunday looks like that's the coldest and that is our third first alert weather day. Quick look at our satellite radar and you have some snowfall now approaching the region. Some of this is going to start to kind of break up a little bit as it heads into Jamestown uh, Devil's Lake as well, but certainly as we get toward the morning hours, we'll see some of that snow come down also in Fargo. Really all areas again going to get at least some snow. Here's a look at that first alert weather day number one for Wednesday. You can see arriving late Tuesday, which is where we're at right now. Moving through early Thursday with Wednesday being the day with the best potential for snowfall. Highs totals those northern areas and we'll take a look and break that down for you in just a second. And once you start heading toward Fargo area south, we're looking maybe closer to an inch, maybe two. And then of course some blowing snow as winds pick up tomorrow evening. Visibility will be reduced in some areas, especially those areas that see the most snow. Again, we take a look at our first alert forecast. Now we're at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Temperature actually warms up from where we are now throughout the overnight hours. We'll see low to mid teens jumping eventually up into the low to mid 20s. And again, the more concentrated snowfall is going to be in those northern areas, northern valley, northeast North Dakota, northern Minnesota as well. Those are going to be the areas where we see the higher snow totals as far as the snowfall potential goes. Let's take a look and you can see darker blue areas there, four to five inches, maybe locally up to six inches in a couple spots. That's northeast North Dakota right down to the northern valley, Grand Forks three to four inches. Fargo, we've got one to two here. I think we're going to be closer to that one inch side and then we look toward Jamestown again, maybe an inch, maybe not even quite that much. First alert weather day number two is Thursday and again, that's where that Arctic air comes in. Sub zero temperatures likely for several days. Windshield values just downright cold. We're talking 20, 30, 40 below at times with those wind chills. Fargo temperature trend. You can see how the temperatures trend down through Sunday. In fact, Sunday high of five below two below on Monday. We got single digit highs around that wind chill forecasting, and this is what really gets into those bones. Those cold winds uh, we're going to see wind chill values 27 below Saturday morning, 28 below Sunday and Monday. But again, this is just a snapshot of the morning hours. There are going to be times overnight and even during the afternoon we could see those wind chill values pick up to 30 to even 40 below when those winds pick up again, continue to drive that cold air into our region. Temperatures right now uh, single digits to teens, but again, those numbers are going to come up a little bit during the overnight hours. You see our lows in many cases, it's above where we're sitting right now, uh, range from 12 to about 16 degrees. As we look at our high temperatures for tomorrow, low to mid 20s with some of those snow showers. Again, higher totals coming in those northern areas. Then Thursday, it gets cold, very cold. Also windy Thursday right through Monday. You see those numbers there. I think the, the big thing I want to get across is there's a lot of below zero, just above zero wind chill values 20, 30, 40 below. That's what you feel when you're outside. So again, that's what you're willing to focus on Thursday right through really next Monday and Tuesday. That's the minimized time. I know you're a runner, but I don't think this weekend's a good time for I'm, a little morning <laughs> jog. No, not even in my home. It's going to be cold <laughs> in there. So exactly, yes. I love that. I'm going to use that too. Yeah, sure. <laughs>